Hey folks, this is Matt. I am back with uh, another Dungeon Death Ball Daily Challenge. Um, you may notice today I sound a little different because I got a new microphone. Uh, I was using the microphone in my headset, it's a Bluetooth headset, um, but I wanted to get a little bit better sound quality since I'm doing more of these streams at the moment. So I have a, a standalone microphone so you can hear my voice in more detail hopefully um, and hopefully it sounds good um, okay so uh, this is Dungeon Death Ball it's a turn based tactical roguelike death sport out now on Steam um, and it has a daily challenge mode right here um, in daily challenge mode you get one chance to put a score on the leaderboard um, you only get one chance per day. Every day you get a, a unique new randomly generated dungeon and set of opponents and a team. Uh, and everybody in the world gets that same randomly generated run. So uh, so you're all on a perfectly even playing field. Um, and and yeah, that's how you that's how you compete every day. Um, I've been trying to play this every day. I've not managed to do every single day, but um, lots of people have been. The leaderboards have been pretty full, which has been fantastic. Um, there's always there's always at least a top 10. I don't know how far beyond that it goes. Um, but that's great to see. Seeing some names come up. Each the same, you know, the same names coming up every day, which is even cooler. As people are coming back. That's really, really cool. Thank you for playing the game. Um, just really quick before I start, I'm running um, a currently unreleased um, update, version 1.1. Um, this was going to be version 1.03, uh, sorry, 1.0.3, um, but it's it's basically got a whole new feature, so I decided to call it 1.1. Um, you can now enable smooth fonts, which is uh, designed to help with uh, people with low vision or anyone who generally didn't like the kind of crunchy pixel fonts um, found them difficult to read or just didn't like them um, you can you can turn on smooth fonts uh, and that gives you this kind of smoother more curvy version instead um, so I, I think uh, I think that's pretty much good to go I've got a few other small things I need to do before I release the patch but that should be going live today I did say it would go live yesterday um, but um, but it took a little bit longer than I wanted than I expected so um, I, I wanted to hold off and just make sure it was ready so yeah that should be live today so that's that out of the way I am now going to begin the daily challenge so we have Joe and Shane a brawler and a carrier it's nice to see that you start with a carrier um, which way am I going to go as always I'm going to go with the hard ball that makes it Harder to win, but you get a score bonus. Um, let's see. I probably keep probably keep my brawler up there to try and make it down here. Possibly, not sure. Let's just go for it. You never quite know how it's going to go, do you? On that first stage. Maybe we can just get you into the goal. Yeah, let's just do it. Shoot. Go. <laughs> Touchdown. Quite a good first stage. Okay, we've got Bruise Ball and Knockback. Interesting. Interesting. Bruise ball. So that's going to do more damage with the ball and that's going to push further. Um, okay, yeah. Well, we're quite close to one of them. Um, I'm going to give Joe a little stamina. Fifty-seven thousand to beat. That's doable. I was in that ballpark yesterday and that was because I died right at the end and missed the survival bonus. 
Um, however, uh, our good friend Glass has not played yet today by the looks of things. Um, and usually that means you don't get a look in on the top spot. <laughs> or you do when when Glass hasn't played yet, but as soon as Glass does play, you, you don't have a chance. <laughs> uh, let's see, softball, minus one push distance on shots. We've got a couple of ticks, that, that's okay. It would be great if we could push this guy onto the spikes from the get-go. Um, that's not going to be possible. So instead, let's just keep it how it is. Let's send our brawler around the top. Maybe we shoot and stun and then run up and hit. Is that possible? Can I even do that? It'd take more turns to do that. They'd wake up and move, I think. And then I'd risk losing the ball. Let's just keep you down here as bait. You keep you stunned. Just gonna grab that gem. Hopefully we can just run through into the goal. We might not get that gem, but yeah, let's just do it. I quite often leave that last gem just to make sure that I get the uh, get the par and maybe a bit of a speed bonus as well. Uh, let's see, do I want knockback or bruise ball? I think I'm going to go with bruise ball for now. And give you a bit more stamina. So the next stage, if I remember right, the ball won't stun. But it can now do a bit more damage. Lots of gems down here. So I don't want to shoot anyone like this if they're moving left because it won't stun them and then the ball will rebound onto this tile and then they'll move and pick up the ball, which is bad news. However, I could, I could just kill this tick for now. see if you move up you rest and then take the ball and then you move that way now you can push this one into that one's way they're gonna then go on the spikes what order will that happen in okay I can't move down there yet and you can just move back and stay safe I want that gem really, but do I want to get entrenched down there? Maybe not. Maybe I do. Yeah, let's do it. And then you can push them. Get a bit of monster on mo monster combat going on there. And then. We really want you to be able to come around this way here to get those gems. In fact, if you push that one there, that means we can get that rock damaged. That might help us, maybe. Oh, 
Might as well just kill this one. Go that way, you can just kill that. The ball is quite safe up there, but we do need to get to the goal quite quickly now. I think we can do this. Oh no! Oh no! I don't think we can make it in par. Damn, we can't. Too low on stamina. All right, we just missed par. Never mind. Can't dwell on these things. Let's see. Um, let's give Joe some strength. Maybe not back in strength. What do I want? Inflict more damage or push enemies one extra tile with attacks. Let's go with knockback. Let's mix it up a bit. I don't often use that perk if I can help it. Um, so let's let's play around and maybe I can learn some new strategies with that. Okay, small stage, snap tour, capper, two slam lads. Lead ball, which is plus one stamina penalty when held. We've got extra damage on the ball and we've got push two tiles. We're going to get a 20% bonus if we use this ball. Um, okay, let's try this. Well, straight away we can get Kappa hit, which is always good. Killed, in fact. Would it be better to kill the snap tool right now? It does mean the slam lad will get the ball, and it's quite difficult to get the ball back off them. Although maybe not with knockback. I'm just thinking, is it worth it to clear out? There's no way I can use Shane. But that that'll still kill the snap tool, because he'll do three damage after this does two damage. Slam that will get the ball. I'm thinking we can probably use knockback to get the ball back off Slam Lead a little bit more easily than it normally would be. Let's try it. Let's take a risk. Well, if I had some more stamina, I could do that. Maybe I just let this guy come forwards a bit more first. In fact, maybe I'll go down here. Create a bit of a lure. There we go. Now we get the ball back. Nice and easy. You take the ball so that Joe can run up. to do it this turn because of the stamina penalty on the ball. Otherwise we'll be able to step over the line. That's fine. Next turn we'll still be in par. There we go. Nearly got S rank. Um, let's save up for another bruise ball. 
I'm very close to it though. Let's give you more stamina. Now let's let's just play it safe, just in case we don't get enough gold. Okay, sponge ball, minus two damage on shots. We do overcome that a little bit with the bruise ball. Um, that means it'll only do minus one damage. So that means it'll be doing one overall. Um, let's see, maybe we keep Shane down here, fire some shots from there while Joe runs up this way. Probably the best bet. I could take some pop shots from there, but I think maybe it's probably better now. I've wait. Yeah, if I, it's better that I've waited one turn now because I can push this mad lad into there. Then Kappa will damage them both in one hit. It does. It damages two tiles at a time. So that's a much better result. We can finish that guy off. Right, now what do we do here? back a bit just give them some room for the next lot to move out a bit um, you go there you're gonna get hit by that one you can move up I think if I move Joe down here, this monster's going to move to here and then try and attack her. Meanwhile, I think this Kappa will try and move down so then I can push that one back. Yeah, let's do that. And then Shane's hanging back to lure them out a bit more. Oh, that would have worked, but... That would have worked, but I've got double knockback, which I forgot. Okay, well, let's do it anyway. I don't really have a lot of choice there. Yeah, that's going to miss, isn't it? He's going to go third. He's going to go fourth. All right, well... wait there. I think he's going to come out next turn. Yeah. Um, so we know we want to hit you like that. So you're going to die on the next turn. And then we want the ball back. Um, let's move you up there. I think it's probably the safest place. I think I want to. I think I want to shoot the ball at Snap Tour. I would have done that with Shane, but not enough stamina. So, what I might do instead? Move Joe down here. If I then pass the ball, she can shoot. This is now stunned. 
Kappa will now damage these two at the same time. And let's just rest. Okay. We're pretty low on turns here. So you can come out and take the ball back while Joe moves down there. I don't think we're going to get par again, are we? We're going to miss it again. Darn. Uh, missed it again. Okay, out of time. There we go. Didn't go too well though. There was that big thick wall of enemies all just covering the finish line really. It was difficult to break through. But now we can get bruise ball and more stamina for Shane. I think next turn maybe more stamina for Joe as well. Would be useful. Okay, Iridium Ball, plus two stamina penalty when held. We're on the Brutalith stage. Two, three. Um, yeah, that looks fine, I guess. Maybe you can... No. Okay, you come down and get some gems. You wait there, because this one's going to move... This one's going to try and come left on the next turn. Okay, gem. You shoot that one. You're dead on the next turn, right? Not quite. Close enough. Don't want the brute to start attacking just yet. I'm gonna wait there. Lil Lil is gonna move left. And then I'm gonna duck around behind it. In fact, that's gonna help me move another tile as well. That's even better. You can die. You grab the gem, come back. You can shoot. Is that what we want? Probably the best way of doing it, isn't it? Shane's okay because that's just a wind attack. Joe can then run up that way. Shane can grab the ball. We can do this. We can do it. Next turn. Need to rest because it's an iridium ball. There we go. That was alright. S rank, nice. Five below par. And the target was four. And happy with that. Okay, let's go with. More strength and more stamina. Halfway. Trial 3. I'm coming for you, Ghost 256. 
Okay, so we've got potted, uh, sorry, rooted moors who have knockback resistance. Whoops, push resistance. Um, that means they can't normally be pushed, but because we've got knockback plus, um, that means that we can overcome their push resistance. Will it be useful on this stage? I'm not sure. Possibly not. Minus one stun duration on shots. Although I think you can kill this. Yeah, you can kill the hatchery in one because you've got bruise ball. So that's great. Hatchery is always a problem. Almost always my uh, number one target. Now, you come up here. What I'm doing there is I move the ball up onto the middle row. That means the goalie's going to try and match it to block it. You've got knocked back. So you can push that mad lad into there. Um, yeah, why not? Rest. I think we can do a... We can do a shot finish. Ignore the gem and just get massive speed bonus. I'll take it. Okay, cool. Cool. Uh, what next? Let's get more strength, maybe. Or more stamina. For Shane. Let's get more strength. Okay. If you just joined, this is Dungeon Death Ball. Uh, Turn-based tactical roguelike death sport out now on Steam. Um, I am the developer, I'm Matt. And I'm playing the daily challenge. Let's see, loner ball. Cannot pass the ball. Which is always the one that catches me out. Even after I, <coughs> even after I say this is the one that catches me out. Um, that's quite good. The rooted moor isn't going to move, so these two are pretty much pinned in there. As long as I keep the ball down here, that Saskatch isn't really going to go anywhere. Um, okay, I think that's all right. I think we want to keep this set up. Although I can't really keep the ball down there forever because I need to move Shane up so that we can we can pass it around. Possibly we might need a we might need Joe to take it instead of passing it. Now I'm gonna lure the red horn out. Okay, Redhorn goes before that mad lad. That means I can... No, I can't get it on the next turn. Um... Okay, let's lure the Redhorn down here instead. I'm just going to get you out of the way. I don't think you being there is is helpful. Okay, that's cool. Now you wait there. You move up. So next turn we can get the red horn to go to this way and then end up on the spikes. So that's good. Joe. I don't really want to get a two trapped in there. You definitely want to move. Um, let's just hang back a minute. Okay, that's good. You're going to get spiked.
I'm gonna just stun the more. Push you back again. Probably just end up killing this one. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, I think we can do it on this turn with a push. Yeah, there we go. Cool. And then we wanted more stamina, was it? Maybe we save up again and get Bruise Ball. Bruise Ball Plus. It's pretty good. Pretty good Bruise Ballers. Let's save up. 320. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, timid ball. Cannot shoot the ball. Um. Oh. Okay, well, let's swap you around. Let's swap you around. Oh, we can get you on the spike straight away. Which is good. Oh, no, you can't. <laughs> but you will get damaged. I'm just going to move both people up. Because there's no point Shane hanging back if he can't shoot the ball right really is that gonna no it's not gonna help because of the turn order oh what have I done it's too hasty no no! <laughs> that was way too hasty then. Did not think that through. Damn it. Damn it. Screwed. Oh, wait! No. Couldn't, couldn't do that. I can't believe I did that. Lost my bruise baller. Alright, we need you to rest. Ignore the ball. Kill. Move. Ugh. I am ashamed of myself. I am ashamed of myself. You move up that way. Oh, I feel so stupid when I do stuff like that. You get on the spike, so well, at least Joe's just... <laughs> just destroying everyone now. chew through them now. Oh. It's annoyed. I've annoyed myself. Made it. No touchdown. And we lost Shane with his bruise ball. Oh. 
Oh dear. Okay, instead though, we can have Violet with a power nap, recover more stamina. Alicia with a needle, attacks pierced through a row of tiles. Or um, Angelica with Bulldozer. Bulldozer's pretty good. But it's expensive. Let's get it anyway. And give you lots more strength and stamina. Okay. We were saving up, weren't we? I was saving up some gold for Shane's next level, so that's okay. We had a lot of gold unspent. to stamina penalty knock back and bulldozer I guess um, let's do it this way Back to the Brutalith. Just get rid of the hatchery ASAP. Um, kill the tick. Stun the brute. Whatever. Oh, that's close. That's close there. Nearly got hit by the brute. Block the hatchery. Then we'll do it on this turn, I think. There we go. Not gonna hang around. Just need to. Get it done. Okay. Um, I think more strength on bulldozer is going to be good. Maybe more stamina. So we've only got two more stages left. Can I... Maybe I can get next level bulldozer. Yeah, I'm going to hold up. I'm going to save up just to make sure I get that for the final stage because that's going to be super useful. Because Bulldozer, if I remember correctly, overcomes the Osmium Ball. So you can, you can move with the ball because it's considered an attack. Normally the Osmium Ball blocks you from moving. Okay, Shackle Ball. Cannot attack while holding. It's a bit of a problem for Angelica. Because we really need her long range attack now. So I'm going to keep. Keep her down there. Let's just wait a turn here. This one's going to attack, so then we can push it into the red horns way. Wait. I'm just going to keep pummeling it, that one with the ball. Okay. 
can move. You can just rest, I think. Just realised I have all the dynamic cameras and everything turned off. <laughs> I just want you to run now, really. that way if you stun I can get that gem rest move up make sure they don't get it though okay maybe next turn not sure yet maybe next turn rest pass Touchdown. Easy. It's a very packed stage, but we managed to do it. All right, so now, final stage. We can have Bulldozer. We can have Stamina. Very nice. Glass, today... Man, today's daily looks really tricky. Um, I haven't found it tricky, actually. There's been a lot of, like, clump together enemies, but I've been finding I can use my perks to just about get through. I did lose someone, though. <laughs> How long have you been watching? When did you join? All right, we've got Osmium and Ball. Also, don't distract me on, <laughs> on Osmium and Ball <laughs> on the final stage. Uh, let's see. Perhaps what we can do here is if we put Joe there, she can shoot the ball at the Saskatch. The Saskatch will catch the ball and land on the spikes. Oh, but that means the ball's stuck on the spikes, which means I can't get it off there. <laughs> Look, a butterfly. <laughs> I need to focus. I need to focus now. This is like the moment of this is the moment of kind of make or break for the score really. Do I get the full survival bonus for Joe? Um Okay, so instead I probably want to I tell you what, swap positions. Joe can go down there with the ball. She's going to pass it to Angelica soon though and then knock back. Use use her knock back to push the Saskatch onto the spikes. That's my that's my initial plan. We'll see how that goes. Oh no, she's getting targeted already. Damn it. Well, okay then. Ignore that. Next turn, though, I think she can do that. Yeah, that's fine. So, she can do that. And then I guess... I guess move up one. Angelica really needs to pass the ball and then move... to push this one here. Hmm. hmm. What's the best way to go here? Maybe I just move Angelica up this way. Pass the ball and then move out the way. Hmm, 
really making much progress here. Do I rest and attack? At least that moves up. Moves her up a bit. Pass. Oh. So, what are my options here? I can push you back, but I'll still be in attack range of you. push this one back it's going to be there it's still going to attack there and there I can move back to here that's okay isn't it that's safe red horn will move up red horn will move up safe. That's not safe though. Because ah, Joe's screwed on the next turn. Joe's screwed if I pass the ball to her. Because she can't get away from the lightning then. She's only got one stamina. Hmm. Do I let Angelica die to save Joe's survival bonus? <laughs> Joe's going to have the biggest survival bonus. She had one more tile here. I should have just moved her and rested or something. No, maybe I couldn't do that. Damn it. The problem here is the ball will rebound if I shoot it. Let's just do it. Maybe I'll find another way out. can't take because I'm too far away. She's going to have to pass but then she can't move. Might be it for Joe. Rest. Screw it. She's gone. So long, Joe. Nice knowing you. At least Angelica can dash to the finish. <gasps> oh no! Oh no! <laughs> no! I totally didn't. Oh no! I totally didn't see the red horn. Oh. 
Oh, I'm a foolish fool. And I missed the top spot, I think. Oh. <laughs> Shocking. What a terrible performance. Oh, well. You know, there's always tomorrow. Oh, well. Okay, that was Dungeon Death Ball Daily Challenge. I'm Matt Glanville. I'm the developer of this game. Uh, I don't know what to say. I'm embarrassed. Should know better. Should have been more careful. Uh, this was version 1.1. This should be going live today or going well. Um, thank you very much for watching. Um, I am going to um, I'm going to set this looping now. Um, well, in in about 10 minutes um, on the Steam page. So if you're if you're watching it on Steam, have a look and see if it says pre-recorded or not. If it is. Uh, I might not be here, but I, I hope you enjoy watching it anyway. Um, feel free to drop a message in the chat. I'll check it every now and then. Or come and join the Discord. There's links on the Steam page. Uh, this game is out now. Um, I'll also put this video on YouTube, on my YouTube channel, which is also linked on the Steam page and everywhere else that you can find me. Um, MattGlanville.com is my website. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, please subscribe and give it a thumbs up. That really helps. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching. Come and check out Dungeon Death Ball and, and come and talk about it in the Discord. There's a, there's a lot of people chatting there now. Uh, it's, it's good. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye. Oh, this is going to loop now. <laughs>